In the previous lesson, we have seen the difference between the stated annual return and the effective annual return. We also saw how my $500 gives me an extra $30 or $30.69 at the end of 12 months. Now this $30 or $30.69 over a period of one year may appear very small or very insignificant to you. But consider a long term duration of say about 30 years. All right? In a period of about 30 years, a sapling would become a full fledged tree bearing fruits. So what will happen to my $500 over a period of 30 years? Let us take some examples. Let us consider some practical examples that how my money gets converted or grows into wealth all right consider a case where a student graduates from a university at the age of say 25 years and he has got a working life till the age of 55 years when he would want to retire and pursue some passion okay so he has got about 30 years of working life during which he earns and after spending whatever he can, he saves some money. And now we want to see how that saved money grows. All right. So let us say that person has a one time investment. He invests $500 for a period of 30 years. All right. Suppose he goes to the bank and puts the money in the bank for 30 years at 6% interest compounded quarterly. So at end of 30 years, what he will get is $2,984. Not a very significant amount. This 500 will become 2,984, almost 3,000. But not a very significant amount because it will just be adequate to beat the inflation. All right. Let us consider another case. Suppose if that person puts his money in some debt fund. All right. Some good debt fund which normally on an optimistic side will give about 9% interest compounded on a quarterly basis. All right. I'm just assuming that normally a good debt fund would give this much. All right. So at the end of 30 years, what he will get is $7,220. This $500 at the end of 30 years becomes $7,220. So here there is a difference in growth. All right. Consider another case. Let us say that person makes an investment in the stock market where he can, you know, on a conservative basis, can easily expect a, can expect a return of 14%. So if he does not touch that money after 30 years, what he will get is $25,475. All right. A stock market will not give consistent return, but I have taken an average. Sometime it may give 12%, sometime it may give you 17%. So over a period of 30 years, considering an average 14% return, if you have invested wisely in a good stock, then that would become this much. All right. Consider another case. Say for example, instead of putting that money in the bank or in a debt fund or in the stock market, Suppose he does some business of his own, all right, where he can expert a, expect a 20% average return on a quarterly basis. What it means is I buy things for $500 and within a period of three months, I sell them off with a profit of 20%, some small business I have. So in a year, I am able to churn that money or rotate that money four times. I buy something for $500, sell it at 20% uh, profit over a period of three months. And again, the entire amount I invested back into some product, sell it again in the next six months. So if I do that business, if I put in my hard work, my knowledge into that business, then at the end of 30 years, that amount will become $174,000 plus. So you see how much there is a difference in growth. 
Now, in the first two cases, probably you won't have to apply much of knowledge or you know hard work. This is just you have put you are putting your money in the bank. Here, maybe you are doing a little bit of study or applying a little bit of knowledge. But in the remaining two cases, there is lot of hard work. Of course, without hard work, nothing comes. But along with the hard work, the person would have to apply his knowledge. knowledge of the stock market or knowledge of the business then he has to take the right investment decisions with his knowledge of course and then he has to spend lot of time he has to you know wait for a period spend time on his work or his business or on the stock market or whatever it is so coupled with knowledge right investment decision and with time your hard work is going to make your money grow and convert into wealth so i hope you have understood as to how your money which you save and invest properly that grows and converts into wealth so now i hope i have been able to convey the difference between earning money and making the money grow all right and you don't have to worry about the calculation you may be wondering how i have done that calculation you don't have to worry about that you just go to a website there are n number of websites you know um, on the net you just go to this website the calculator site.com and there you will get something a calculator like this you just have to insert your figures say you have selected the currency i have selected dollars i have put 500 taken an interest of 6% compounded quarterly and when i click on calculate it will give me a complete calculation you see right for 30 years it will give me the calculation so you don't have to learn the formulas or get bogged down with the figures these things are all available on the net what you require is basically hard work knowledge right investment decisions and lot of time to spend on your passion or your work all right